to win this series and this was if you recall a primary reason why that was uh not only was paul george out um i asked the question are we sure that Kawhi is going to be available if you recall big perk that's exactly what i said to you and if you remember in 2019 <laughs> Kawhi leonard played all 24 postseason games for the toronto raptors since that time Kawhi leonard has played 26 total playoff games for the Clippers. I want to say something and put Kirk Big Perk on the screen because I want to see him when I say this. I don't know how many people are going to say this, Big Perk, but I'm going to say it. Kawhi Leonard should be on the list of one of the worst superstars this game has ever seen. That's right, I said it. Because anybody that watches basketball knows I'm obviously not talking about his skills. We know the brother is big time. We know that as a talent, he's a superstar. One who shows up when he plays, I'm talking about in terms of his performance, performs in the postseason arguably better than he performs in a regular season. He is that dude. But when you talk about a superstar that is unreliable, I want somebody to point me out somebody more flagrant than him. You know, you're load managing him all through the season. All through the season. He takes every perk imaginable. Yeah. Stop it right there. That's the key word you just said in that whole video. Load management. In this video, this is what we're going to get into. Ladies and gentlemen. The load management of everything. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. We're not going to waste any time with this. I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to talk about all the points that Stephen A. said in this video. Listen, I just watched the Lakers spank the Memphis Grizzlies, okay? I just watched Tank put Garcia to sleep. But that, that's that's there and it has nothing to do with this video. Let's get straight to what we're going to really talk about. It's really how sad the Clippers are right now because it's a shame. It's a shame that Kawhi looked like he was playing 40 some minutes in both game one, game two. And then all of a sudden he says, I'm out. I, I can't, I can't go for game three and game four. And obviously they were both games. When Russell Westbrook is playing like OKC Russell Westbrook, can we give Russell Westbrook his flowers, ladies and gentlemen? Can we stop? Can we stop with the criticism? I, I I made a mistake by criticizing him. Not gonna lie, and I I, I my one of my previous videos I gave him his flowers. We gotta give him his flowers. How he's been hooping this whole series and giving it to KD, and them going back and forth has made the series exciting, made the series intriguing, made the series just want to grab your popcorn and just still watch without Kawhi and Paul George. But obviously, without them two, they'll have no chance. So, this is the thing. What Stephen A said in this video is Kawhi is the, the bigger picture. He said Kawhi is one of the worst superstars in NBA history. I'm going to address that whole point, that whole claim. First of all, he made some valid arguments. He made some valid points of why he thinks that. But his whole claim is wrong, and I'm going to tell y'all why. First of all, how can you be the worst superstar if you basically carry a team, a whole team to the championship, and beat the Golden State Warriors? Yes, they didn't have KD, but you still beat the Golden State Warriors in six games in 2019 to win your, to win your second ring, win the first championship in Toronto, I don't remember the last time Toronto won a championship. That probably was the only one. Correct me if I'm wrong. You brought us, you brought us Toronto a, a championship. Kyle Lowry was a huge factor. Siakam was a huge factor. Marcus Gasol was a huge factor. But you was the main focus. 
not only you won the championship, you went against Giannis, young Giannis, but there was a number one seed with the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee Bucks were number one seed that year, and y'all was down 2-0. What, what did Kawhi do? Just take over. They won four straight. They basically swept them after they lost two, the two on the road versus Milwaukee. They couldn't stop Kawhi. They put a whole wall version with Giannis, and that's how they stopped it. And Kawhi was, he took on a challenge to guard Giannis. Kawhi was that man that whole series. And he was that man in the whole playoffs. Let's, let's backtrack before that series with Philadelphia. With the seven games. What did Kawhi do in game seven? Not only he dropped 40 plus. He hit one of the most lucky game winning shots in NBA history. It was Yes, the most lucky, but he still hit it. That kept bouncing off the rim like he like was doing a toilet bowl and went in. Yeah, he made it. He did that. We can even backtrack to young Kawhi Leonard in 2014 with the San Antonio Spurs. 2013-14 season. Wasn't he Finals MVP? Wasn't he the one that he didn't want? He didn't carry. He still had Tim Duncan, Mario Ginobili, but there was older Tim Duncan, Mario Ginobili, and I guess you can mention Tony Parker, whatever. He was a driving force in that, in that finals versus LeBron. Prime, prime LeBron. Older D Wade, but he was still D Wade and Bosch. So. To say that he's one of the worst superstars, you're missing the biggest point. The biggest point that we need to talk about is how low management does not work. Y'all, the Clippers, y'all, y'all have Kawhi low managed all, all season, all last season, all the season before that, making sure his knees were good. Let's be honest, y'all. Kawhi's knees hasn't been the same since San Antonio. His last year in San Antonio. Remember he got hurt? He couldn't come back? Remember Tony Parker was criticizing him? Remember that? Then, he, then they traded him to Toronto? Yeah, Toronto was prime Kawhi, but his knees were still not the same. Then, he, then this uh, uh, made a big time trade that happened at 1 p.m. I mean, 1 a.m. in the morning. With Kawhi going to Clippers. And Paul George. Kawhi's knees were still not the same. His knees would never be the same. And the fact that the Clippers was trying to low manage, and it's not just the Clippers, it's a lot of these teams that are trying to low manage these superstars. Look how it's panning out in these playoffs so far. There's a lot of injuries. Look how look what Giannis is. Giannis has been out. Jaw just came back tonight. Tyler Hero, he's not a superstar, obviously, but I'm just making the point. He's out the whole basically playoffs. We don't know why we're going to advance. And then Paul George, when you it's another person that y'all try to go manage, and now look at him right now. He's not playing. So so what the hell is the point of load managing? If if we get to the playoffs and these players are not even playing, what's the point in these players not giving the fans what they want in a regular season when they, when they have when I mean, they have tickets to go to the game to see y'all play to see y'all want to be a favorite player to so watch and y'all don't want to play that game because y'all want to load manage just to get to the playoffs and be injured and stay and be on the sidelines and street clothes. Low management BS does not work. This is a prime example. Now let's let's talk, let's talk more about Kawhi, okay? Because Stephen A. also made a claim, saying he would rather have Kawhi, uh, he would rather have Kyrie over Kawhi right now. I, I'm not even going to address. I'll address that in another video. I, I I'll make another video about that. But I will say Kawhi did play forty some minutes. Game one, almost 40 some minutes in game two. It's not like Kawhi didn't want to be out there. It's his unfortunate instance. 
Yes, it's very frustrating if you're a Clippers fan. It's very frustrating if you're a Kawhi Leonard fan. It's very frustrating in general if you're an NBA fan and you love to see the superstars on the floor they, and you want to see a, a siding series with KD versus Kawhi, with Booker versus PG. It's unfortunate that we have to come with this. But don't don't come to this. This is the problem. Like, yes, like I said, it's very unfortunate what's happened to Kawhi. And it's frustrating as hell that you were playing the first two games very fine. You know, drop, dropping KD in, but off. Dropping Venus off. And then all of a sudden you get hurt and nobody sees it. I see the I see the points that I'm claiming that Steven is trying to make, right? But the problem with this claim is one, it's wild. It's a wild claim. And, and to be honest, that that's that whole claim that you're making is literally on basically for clicks and views and a, a great thumbnail. Let's be honest. Because in your right mind, like, do you really believe he's the worst? Like, really define how you how can you be the worst superstar? Like, this doesn't make sense to me. Either you're a superstar or you're not. And Kawhi obviously is a superstar that not only won two championships. And two finals MVPs, he carried the Toronto Raptors franchise on his back when Toronto was getting big up by LeBron. Yeah, LeBron went to, to the Lakers and they got a break from that, but he, he still carried, he still beat Giannis, he still beat Joel and beat Jimmy Butler, JJ Reddick, Tobias Harris. He still beat that squad. I just. And the, it's not the whole. that. This was not the whole point. The bigger points, the bigger story is low management. That has to stop. Because it obviously does not work. It's a prime example. This is the bigger picture. It's the bigger issue. Can we talk about that? Can we really dive in why that's a bigger issue? Because it really is. It does not work. It's a prime example. It's not just Kawhi and PG. You got other superstars in, in the league right now in the playoffs that's dealing, in, dealing with injuries right now. Dealing with crucial injuries. And it, it's unfortunate, y'all. I hope, you know, it, it's because this series has been, it has so much potential. This series could have went seven with Kawhi and PG. You see how Russell Westbrook is playing? It's a prime example that the Lakers didn't play Russell Westbrook right. I knew it was not going to work. Westbrook has been falling out, but it's unfortunate because Kawhi, there's no timetable for him to return. And I get it. You didn't get to see the injury, so you're making this claim. You're making these, this big statement. you make this big topic for clips and views. But come on, man. Just be real. You got to be fair to Kawhi. He literally played 40 minutes the last two games. And it's just an unfortunate injury. So that's all I got to say for this video, man. I hope y'all give I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, give you a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. You know I'm gonna be dropping these videos for y'all. And it's being both Will and I'm out.